Four months ago this week, we lost a cherished colleague here at WDSU, sports reporter Carly McCord. Yeah, just 30 years young, Carly and four others died when the private plane they were traveling in crashed, leaving Lafayette. A huge personality in this newsroom and on TV, our dear friend is now being honored in a very big way. Carly McCord loved reporting on the big story. In fact, her final report at WDSU was about controversial wide receiver Antonio Brown visiting the New Orleans Saints. The Saints brought in six wide receivers for a workout, and it was no secret that one of them was former league member Antonio Brown. For the passion and dedication Carly had for sports journalism, she's being recognized with high honor from the Freedom Forum, the prestigious group which raises awareness for First Amendment freedoms, annually salutes reporters who've passed away. This year, Carly is one of 11 individuals worldwide who'll be recognized as part of their Fallen Journalist Memorial. All the names on this hallowed list represent not only courageous journalists, but they are someone's beloved son, daughter, spouse, parent, colleague, friend. Also being recognized with Carly, and nine other fallen journalists from countries like Haiti, Syria, Ghana, and Iraq is New Orleans anchor Nancy Parker, who also died tragically in a plane crash in 2019. The Fallen Journalist Memorial is the start of the Freedom Foundation's Without News campaign. The campaign encourages people to consider what a world without journalists to report the news would actually look like. And both Carly and Nancy are missed very